Hello and welcome back everyone. We're here doing the lessons of A Course in Miracles and today is lesson number 22. And oh man, we are in for an interesting talk today. Whew, I get grounded a little. I actually have a couple things I want to share with you and I'm a little excited. So let me just chill for a second. Okay, lesson 22. What I see is a form of vengeance. Today's idea accurately describes the way anyone who holds attack thoughts in his mind must see the world. Having projected his anger onto the world, he sees vengeance about to strike at him. His own attack is thus perceived as self-defense. This becomes an increasingly vicious circle until he is willing to change how he sees. Otherwise, thoughts of attack and counterattack will preoccupy him and people his and people his entire world. What peace of mind is possible to him then? It is from this savage fantasy that you want to escape. It is not joyous news to hear that is it not joyous news to hear that it is not real? Is it not a happy discovery to find that you can escape? You made what you would destroy everything that you hate and would attack and kill. All that you fear does not exist. Look at the world about you at least five times today, for at least a minute each time. As your eyes move slowly from one object to another, from one body to another, say to yourself, I see only the perishable. I see nothing that will last. What I see is not real. What I see is a form of vengeance. At the end of each practice period, ask yourself, is this the world I really want to see? The answer is surely obvious. Okay, so uh, a couple things that I wanna bring up. I have been looking at um, Ken Wapnick's study notes for the lessons. Recently, I, I forgot that I had this. I went up to storage in New Jersey and I brought it with me and found it a few days ago. So I've been reading it in conjunction with doing these lessons. Ken Wapnick, he's passed away now, but he's a very well-known Course in Miracles teacher. And um, his notes are wonderful and really help me glean out some of the points that I may miss when I'm reading the lessons and just doing it myself. So what he highlights in this lesson is this aspect of... Uh, our consciousness and our separation from God, which at some level we believe God did to us, and then we feel this victimization. We're just in this victim consciousness. And I think you can kind of look around and see victim consciousness at some degree with most people. So we're in this cycle of feeling like God, you know, separated himself from us, and then we attack. We attack ourselves, we attack our brothers and sisters, because we're just in this state of, of acting out these buried, unconscious, subconscious um, guilt and sin feelings and emotions. Um, so I, I want to just, as, as we're thinking today, going through our minds and, and saying what I see as a form of vengeance, I mean, it sounds harsh. But if you think about it, at, at some level, we all have this buried belief that God did something to us and now we have to do what God isn't doing. Like you hear people sometimes say, God, let those things happen. How can there be a God if, if that happened, right? Happened to me or happened out in the world. So the other thing, I watched last night a, um, a live stream by a person that I admire very much. His name is Sasha Stone and I'm on the email list. So I just happened to tune in to the video last night. And one of his guests that he had speaking was this woman named Kathy O'Brien. Kathy O'Brien wrote a book called Trance Formation of America. Uh, pun intended. Uh, she is at the, the bottom here says the true life story of a CIA mind control slave. And let me tell you, in this book, it wasn't even meant to be a book. It was meant to be evidence for a court case. And she named names. This was decades of her life where, where she describes um, just atrocities that 
I'm not even going to mention in the video for fear of maybe it might go away. So anyway, when, when I think about listening to her story, listening to her talk last night and her, the power of her spirit, she says, I've been, I've been put through hell and I've recovered. Um, she was saved from this, this experience by a man in the intelligence world who, I mean, it's actually a beautiful story, but what I'm getting to is we know there's like, you know, things that we hear about that are happening in the world, like human trafficking, for instance, which this is a great description of, but at a very detailed level. So it could be traumatic reading it, to be honest with you. Although I think people should check it out. But then as I'm reading the course, I'm like, should people check it out? Because <laughs> it just sort of validates this idea that God lets bad things happen to good people, you know, and like somehow it's up to us to, to, you know, call out the bad guys and bring people to justice. So I just kind of struggle with this, this idea that, that what's buried in my mind is creating the world I see. And yet I feel like I should spread awareness or tell people or do, do something about it. Um, and that's sort of like in the external world, but even in my own world, to know that I have all these buried anger and and sadness and victimization seeds that are planted in me and, and have grown throughout my life, how is it coloring the way I see the world? Is it making me see this form of vengeance? Um, it's It's a lot. It's a lot. And I think that having the word vengeance in my consciousness today is going to bring out a lot, not to mention the fact that I'm flying to Costa Rica. So I will be in an airport and uh, I will <laughs> I'll be having a lot of opportunities to see my brothers and sisters and have thoughts come and pr definitely like judgments and things like that will come. So doing the lessons today won't be difficult, in other words, because I'll be in two different uh, stops along the way. Uh, going to Costa Rica, which I'm going there for a Channeling Jesus retreat. I'm super excited. Um, and I'm going to be spending time with like-minded beings. We're going to be in the high vibrational realms. And it's going to be an amazing week. Uh, and then in a couple of weeks, speaking of Sasha Stone, uh, I'm going to be seeing him and my friend and teacher, Tina, uh, and my friend and teacher, Carol Morgan, Carol and Tina are channelers. Carol is channeling a blue avian being who focuses on uh, the law of one teachings and among other things. And then Tina channels Jesus and some other non-physical beings that give wisdom teachings and are an amazing asset and a wonderful friend uh, to anyone who tunes in and resonates with the information. So Sasha Stone will be presenting at the Conscious Life Expo as well. This is Los Angeles, California, February 9th through 12th. I think you can still sign up if you're there, want to go, want to hang out with me. I'll be there at the conference. So, but, but I just want to get back to the lesson here for a second. I mean, it feels like I'm inviting in all of my opportunities to see a form of vengeance. And I wonder if any of you out there are dealing with that, because in one hand, it feels like I've pulled away from the regular mainstream media and just the regular lifestyle of standard American diet, standard American indulgence, and just, you know, like, it feels like everything that I was raised to idolize, I've basically let go of. Well, now, I mean, I wouldn't say that I idolize people like Sasha Stone and Kathy O'Brien. I, I respect them. I feel like what they're doing is important and I don't know where it fits into this this architecture of me creating a world of vengeance like when I go seek out this book and seek out that channel am I you know churning up my own vengeance which then as we know our thoughts we don't think and feel the effects by ourselves am I creating more out in the world around me, out vibrationally. And of course, you know, going back to this is all an illusion, so it really doesn't matter. I can sit here and contemplate this all morning long. Um, but I do feel like a sense of responsibility. And I want to I want to do some meditation today and, and really ask myself, am I contributing to these problems? Is it my own buried sense of being a victim that, that God kicked out of heaven? And my feeling like I have to now attack back 
you know, is, is all of that buried inside of me and causing me to draw in more opportunities to see vengeance in the world. And oh, not to mention the last thing, and, and I'll cut this off, this year's an election year. So, I mean, we are in for it, right? There's, there's a lot of opportunities to go to these uh, disclosure conferences and, and consciousness conferences, and they all talk about some, some things that are being highlighted that, that some very powerful people, well-known powerful people, have been participating in nefarious things that are harming people for a very long time. So that does get talked about at these events, in addition to a lot of spiritual principles and camaraderie and friendship. And there's, there's a lot of love, a lot, a lot of love at these events. But I think it does bring you into a little bit of a friction point with your spiritual practice. Because when we're seeking out this information, even when we want to attend these events, are we contributing to it getting worse? Or are we giving ourselves an opportunity to have our forgiveness practice come into play? And we, we truly expand out in a loving way, this vibration of love, this frequency of love, so that we can forgive, first of all, ourselves for this whole cycle of attacking God and feeling like victims, and then forgiving this world that we think we see with all these bad things that we think we know are happening. That's the answer that I'm thinking is, is going to come to the surface, is it's more forgiveness work, more unconditional love, more understanding that there's so much buried in me that's that's kind of con controlling the, the way that I see the world and forgiving myself for it. So I hope that you can forgive yourself today a lot and whatever comes up for you, you know, just be with it. Let it, let the energies flow through you. I've been feeling a lot the past few days and I'm just really being present to it and just not trying to numb it so much and just kind of sit with it and meditate a little but we're <laughs> we have a lot contained in our little fields here and it's so good that we have the Course in Miracles lessons to help us distill it down to okay Sherry you get to choose today is it going to be love or is it going to be fear and just start there and and let your day progress so have a good one, everyone. I'm excited. I'll, I'll have a different background for tomorrow's video for sure. And uh, we'll get back into the lessons and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.